Ever since I was little, I've been interested in animals. I mean, growing up, we also had multiple pets of multiple species, and I was always in charge of taking care of them. I have such a passion for them. And so when I started studying, and I had the opportunity to study zoology and marine biology, I just jumped at it because it is just so interesting to learn what makes animals work and what makes ecosystems work. My name is Emily Savage. I am an animal caretaker here at the EMBL and my main role is looking after all of the marine animals here on campus. So here we have the anteroom for the worms that we have here for uh, the RN group, the Platinaris dumillary. So with these particular worms we use them in the single cell genomics projects that we have going on which is where we study each individual cell and cell type of the worm and follow it along its development into neurons or axons and compare that in variation with other species of animal. So all of the worm rooms look identical to this room. We have everything in here from the very, very tiny baby larvae that were born up to six days ago through to the adult worms that are ready to spawn. Molecules to Ecosystems is the big EMBL program and where we are in that is the life and context part in the planetary biology. And by life and context we mean the animals, where they are at and what is going on in that exact environment. Here in the lab we have a, a controlled wild type population that has as minimal effect of pollution on it as possible. So we have a very nice baseline of what it should look like for the animals in their completely natural environment. And from that, we can then compare the species in the wild at different areas to see within their cells and within their genetics exactly what changes they have made to adapt to the situation. So I am the person who makes sure that there are always animals available in the laboratory for study. And I prepare samples of the animals for the researchers to perform their main research on. This is a box of male worms. You can see here the white, which is sort of a sperm pack that they hold the sperm in. And when they're ready to spawn, they swim around like crazy, like this guy is doing. So he's a very good one, and I will pick him up. Let me put him here in his own cup. And this is the box of females. They're bright yellow. So now to this female who's ready to spawn, I'm going to add one of the males who is also ready to spawn and we should hopefully see them create some larvae. There we go. So now you can see him releasing sperm into the water and she's releasing her eggs. And together they will make baby worms. We have a responsibility. We have so many experts and so much expertise in different parts of molecular biology that we should be sharing that knowledge and information. I have a little girl and I wanna see her grow up in a world that I remember from when I was little because it's changed so much from when I was little, even just to now. So I want to be able to say that I had some small impact of making a change and making the world better.